Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this digital TV box from the WOW Group. Now the WOW Group are best known for their karaoke products, but they also make other products, for example this digital TV box. Now so many people have asked for a review of this, either this box specifically, or just a digital TV box that has a built-in USB port which can be used for playing movies or for recording what's on TV. And aside from the USB port, people also want HDMI out instead of just RCA. This one can do both. Now during the course of this review, I'm going to make some comparisons against the TV Plus box from ABS CBM because this is one of the best known boxes. Now this is the Generation 3 which features HDMI. Now they pretty much only sold a very small number of these and then immediately jumped to Generation 4 and removed the HDMI port. So at the moment you cannot buy a TV Plus box with HDMI unless you find someone selling one of the Generation 3 boxes which is very rare because they didn't sell many. And after this review, I'm actually going to be giving this away to someone, but I'll come to the mechanics of that later. Now, I have opened this box, so if you notice that the case is loose, that's just because I haven't screwed it back together yet, because I want to show you on camera what's inside. So let's start. What do you actually get in the box? Well, of course, you get the digital TV box itself. You get the remote control, along with two AAA batteries. There are some unknown brand, but as long as they get the job done, remote controls don't really use that much power. You get the RCA cable. You do not get a HDMI cable, so if you want to use HDMI, you have to provide your own cable. And then of course you also get the digital antenna and the instruction booklet. Now I'm going to put the instruction booklet out of the way. Same with the RCA cable because we don't really need this. So apart from the obvious size difference, what are the main differences between this box from ABS CPN and this one from the WOW Group? Well like I mentioned earlier, the WOW Group box includes a USB port which lets you watch movies, lets you record TV shows and watch you time shift. For example, if you're watching a show you can pause it, you can rewind it, you can forward it. So that's a very handy feature. Another difference would be that the WOW box includes a HDMI port which you won't find on the latest generation, generation 4 of the TV Plus box. But then the ABS CPM box has exclusive channels that you can only get if you buy their box and that will be the deal breaker for some people. If you want the extra channels you have to buy the official ABS CBN TV Plus box. Now another difference between these two boxes is how they're powered. The WOW box has a built-in power supply and you just plug it straight into the wall. There's no removable cord, there's no external power supply, it just plugs straight into the wall. Whereas the ABS CBM box comes with an external power supply which feeds in 12 volts. Now for many people it won't make any difference at all, they won't care. But if you're planning to use it in a car, the ABS CBM box is a much better choice because you can run it directly from 12 volts and your car runs on 12 volts. Whereas with the WOW box you'd have to install an inverter and then plug this into the 200 20 volt socket which would be kind of a hassle it's doable but the ABS CBM box is definitely more friendly for use inside vehicles another difference between the boxes is the included antenna this is the one that comes with the wow group box and this is the one that comes with the TV plus you can see that this one from the TV plus is much more substantial it's got a thicker wire it's got a much longer wire which means you can run it to you know a better location because sometimes you have to get this either outside or near a window or very high up so this extra length definitely helps and I like the fact that it's you know it feels like a really sturdy antenna that could probably survive like an apocalypse but how do they actually perform side by side in terms of signal well I have to say that in my location I can't tell any difference between them they both seem to give the same like signal quality signal strength so I can't actually tell any difference between them in that respect but you can you know you can tell that the ABS CBM one is built to a much higher standard but if they both give you the same quality of signal I don't think many people will actually care about the difference between them now if we take a look at the box, we can see the video formats that it supports, and I was very impressed. MKV, AVI, XVID, MOV, FLV, like pretty much all of the major formats are supported by this. So if you'd like to plug in a USB hard drive or a USB thumb drive, this is absolutely perfect for you because it can play pretty much every file format you can think of. And I chucked a whole bunch in a USB stick, and I'll show you that later, and it played every single one of them absolutely flawlessly. So yeah, big thumbs up for that. I like the fact that not only is it a digital TV receiver, but you can also watch back all your movies or TV shows or whatever else that you've got on a USB thumb drive or USB hard drive. So I think that's enough talking about the box, so let's actually plug it in and take a look. So I've got the box hooked up to the TV and you can see right now we're on the ABS CBN TV channel and I've got the volume turned down but I'll just turn it up so you can hear that everything's working okay. 
ferro raw materials, but it has now imported. So as you saw, it's working okay, but I just turned down the volume so that you can hear me okay. Now, one thing I will complain about is the remote control, or rather how sensitive it is or isn't, because you have to point this perfectly at the box, otherwise it doesn't register your command. I'd like to see them improve that in a generation two box. It's not a big deal, but I like remote controls where you can just point them like in the general direction. I don't like ones where you have to point it exactly at the box. Anyway, it's not a big deal. So let's go and bring up the EPG, or the electronic program guide. That shows us what's on now and what's gonna be on next, which is quite useful if you you want to see what's going to be on later today or so on and you can change the channel and it will bring up the information for each channel so let's bring up sports and action and see what's coming up so there you go SNA the score um, pretty typical to find an EPG on a digital TV box of course but I just wanted to show you what it looks like and we'll exit this for a second so that I can show you going through the channels now this isn't going to be a how-to of how to use the box I'm just going to go over the basic features because you know, you're going to work it out yourself. It's not rocket science. So here's a list of channels that I found, and some of them will be duplicates because they're on a different frequency or whatever. So some of them are duplicates. But if you see that dollar sign there, that means that the channel's encrypted and you can't watch it. And they are the exclusive channels for ABS CBN. So you can only get those if you have the official TV Plus box. So if you see that sign there, you can't watch the channel. And if we keep going down, you can see there's quite a lot of channels and there are a couple of HD channels. Like if we go for Hope Philippines HD, and there you go, it pops up. And the box is currently connected to the TV with 1080p. And I can show you that if we go into the menu. So let's go into the menu, go across, and you can see resolution 1080p, 60 hertz. And you can adjust that if you want, all the way down to 480. But I'm gonna leave it there on 1080. So now let's use one of the features that is unique to the wow box. Let's record this TV show. So I pressed record on the remote and you can see at the top left that it's doing a counter. And not only can you record the show you're watching, but you can actually like do advanced recordings. So you can say every day at 5 p.m. I want to record this specific channel. So if there's a TV show that you follow every single day, you can have it automatically record, which is a very useful feature. So let's stop that recording. And flicking through the channels is pretty easy just press up and you can flick through the channels and you see it changes pretty fast it's pretty much the same speed as the current generation abs cbn box and i mean yeah it works as you'd expect it's a digital tv box gets a good signal even with the provided antenna but it does have the extra features like i was recording that tv show and another feature of course is you can play back your files on your usb stick so right now i've got a usb stick plugged in and if we go to movie we can see some sample files here so if we're trying to open big bucks h264.mov you'll see a preview in the top right so there you go you can see it's playing okay and if i press the red button it will go full screen and it works okay i can also fast forward see that's four times I can rewind etc pause whatever as you'd expect press red again and I can go back here we can also try other files I've got on here we've got big bucks as a div x7 we've got war dogs a trailer in mpeg4 we've got westworld trailer as abc1.mp4 and you can see it's playing this one absolutely fine I can forward through it I can rewind through it just like any other media player it actually works really well I like the fact that it supports pretty much every format out there now aside from movie we can also go to PVR because like I said you can record live TV so if we go down to HB PVR you can see that there's the Hope Philippines that we recorded earlier and I also had a GN TV but let's try the Hope Philippines so I initialize that and there you go red for full screen and we can watch back the show that we were watching earlier and of course it's got volume and the other great thing is you can actually unplug the USB drive plug it into your computer and then watch the files back using VLC or another media player I tried that out and it worked absolutely fine so if you want to record on the box and then watch on your computer that's completely possible and like I mentioned earlier, it has time shifting. So if I'm watching a show and then suddenly I have to go and do something, I can just press pause, it will enter time shift. That's now pause, so I can go away for a while. Then when I come back, I can continue playing. And it will continue recording in the background. So although we only recorded a few seconds there, you'll see that the timer continues to grow on the right because we're still watching in the past. So we'll continue recording. So it's a continuous stream, you don't miss anything. So a very useful feature having the time shift. But like I mentioned, you do have to add your own USB drive for that to work. So that was just a quick look at the box, but there's not too much to say. It's a digital TV receiver. The box does what you'd expect. The only difference is that it can't 
receive the exclusive ABS CVN channels. But then on the flip side, it can play back all your movies from your USB drive and it can also record live TV and do time shifting. So there's pros and cons between this box and the official ABS CBM box. And if you're curious, this is the USB thumb drive that I used during my testing, just a regular USB thumb drive. Okay, and now let's take a look inside the box. I know this won't appeal to everyone, but some people will want to see inside. I don't intend to do a breakdown of all the components, but what I can do is take some high resolution images and share those if anyone's interested. You can see our AC comes in here. We've got a fuse on the board. So this is all pretty much our power supply here. I would like to see this external, especially if it was 12 volts, because then it would make it a lot easier to use inside a vehicle. So hopefully they'll consider that if they have like a gen two version. But yeah, let me bring this closer to the camera. Pause it and you know, look to your heart's content and just leave a message in the comment section down below if you want uh, high resolution images of this board. And now we're at the part of the video that I'm sure many people have been waiting for, the mechanics of the giveaway. Now this box was given to me by the WOW group to review on my channel and I'm now gonna give it away to one of you viewers. And the mechanics are very simple. All you have to do is leave a comment down below telling me what you like about this box and then go to the WOW Group Facebook page and like it and you'll find the link for that in the video description down below. Now there is one other thing, you have to be inside the Philippines and specifically you have to be in a certain area because digital TV is not yet available everywhere in the Philippines. So you have to be in one of these areas and you'll find the full list in the video description down below. So please make sure that your delivery address is in one of those areas because if not, I'll have to choose someone else. And what I'm gonna do is put everyone's name in a hat and then I'll pull out the winning name on the 3rd of February. So if you're watching this video after that date, the giveaway has already ended and I've already sent this off to the winner. So if you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.